if you want a gaming PC and you do not want to go through the process of building it yourself, then you may want to buy a premium PC. Now, you have to be careful because if you don't have enough PC knowledge, maybe you buy the wrong system and you end up regretting it because you are not getting the performance that you want. For that reason, I will show you the best premium PCs of the week. And trust me, there are some really good deals here for different budgets. And I will show you systems for every budget and every resolution. 1080p, 1440p and 4K. And I will also show you the level of performance that you can get with these systems. That way, if you end up buying one of these, you know the level of performance that you are getting. All the links to these premium PCs will be down below in the video description alongside my PC community. I am Valentino and with that being said, let's start. With the first system, we have the best one, in my opinion, under $1,000. This is the budget Omen 40L. This one has the i5-13400, which is a really good processor for gaming, especially at this price point. And then you get the RTX 4060 for the graphics card. With this CPU and GPU combo, you can expect around 90 plus FPS on average when talking about high demanding titles on high to ultra settings. And here I'm talking about games like Cyberpunk 2077, Starfield, The Last of Us Part 1. So if you want to run easier to run games, you can expect higher frame rates than 90 FPS on average. And if you want to play esports games such as Fortnite, CS2, Valorant, Apex Legends, and these type of shooters, you can expect 240 plus FPS on average in competitive settings, which is amazing considering that this system is going for $830 at the moment. But this is because it's on a huge discount. You end up saving 670 bucks when I'm recording this video. Maybe when you're watching this, this PC is more expensive. So I do recommend you checking the link in the description to see the latest prices. Now with this system, you can play at 1440p 60 plus FPS on average, depending on the game and depending on the settings. But for most games at 1440p, you will be fine. And you can also turn on the LSS, which is the upscaler from NVIDIA and achieve 70 plus FPS on average when talking about 1440p high to ultra settings, depending on the game. For the rest of the components, you get a one terabyte SSD, and then you get 16 gigs of DDR5 memory instead of DDR4, which is a plus. And overall, this system for 830 bucks, in my opinion, is the best one for under thousand dollars, which is great. But if you have more money to spend, then you can get more performance. And in that case, for around a thousand bucks, you can get the thermal take PC from Amazon, which if you have been following the channel, you know that I recommend this one a lot for a thousand bucks. And that is because you get the RTX 4060 Ti. The 4060 Ti is faster than the 4060, especially at 1440p resolution. If you want to play at 1080p, the 4060 is honestly amazing. And the 4060 Ti, even though it's faster, it's just not going to make that big of a difference because you are playing at 1080p resolution and 90 plus FPS on average on high to ultra settings in high demanding titles is going to be enough. But for 1440p resolution, the difference is going to matter because we are talking about going from 60 FPS on average to 70 FPS on average. And when it comes to 1080p, you can expect around 110 plus FPS on average high to ultra settings in high demanding titles compared to 90 FPS on average from the 4060. Now, the rest of the components for this system are basically the same as the Omen 40L. The only major upgrade is the graphics card to the 4060 Ti. And this system is more upgradable than the last one. So if you are someone who wants to upgrade this system over time, open it up, change some components, then this one is going to be a better option than the last one. And you end up paying a premium for a thousand dollars, which is a still a very good price for this system. But in terms of price to performance, I like the last one more because it's on a huge discount and it is better in terms of price performance. Now, if you want to play at 1440p high FPS, then I do recommend you spending more money. And for around $1,500, you can get the SkyTech Chronos PC. This one is from the SkyTech website and here you get the RTX 4070 alongside the i7 12700F. This CPU and GPU combo will allow you to play at 1440p high to ultra settings, 90 plus FPS on average, which is like the 4060 at 1080p, but this one we are talking about 1440p resolution. And the 4070 has 12 gigs of VRAM, which is more than 8 gigs of VRAM from the 4060 or 4060 Ti. So this is a huge upgrade from the last two systems, but I do recommend you playing at 1440p if you are going to buy this one. If you want to play at 1080p, you can still get this one and achieve very high FPS, but I would recommend this one since I believe it's going to be an overkill for 1080p unless you want to play the most high demanding titles and you want to achieve higher frame rates, which is understandable if you are one of those people. Now, if you want to play esports shooters, like the ones I've mentioned before, Fortnite and those type of games, you can achieve 240 plus FPS on average 
competitive settings at 1440p resolution. And for the rest of the components, you get a one terabyte SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, and basically the standards for a gaming PC nowadays. Overall, this one is a very good system for under $1,500, and right now is on a discount, like almost every system in this video. And that is why I make these videos weekly, because prices change a lot. But anyway, this system for around $1,500 is a very good option. And if you have more money, then you can get a system that's going to be even better at 1440p resolution and it's also 4K capable. And before going into that one, I want to say that if you are enjoying this video, please subscribe and click the like button. You are going to be supporting the channel and I appreciate that a lot. Now, if you have more money to spend, you can get the Omen 40L. Now, I have tested this one myself. This is the upgraded version and I will talk about that in a second. But I want to say that here you get a 4070 Ti combined with the i7 13700K, which by the way, this CPU and GPU combo is great not only for gaming, but also for productivity work and content creation. So if you are a content creator or you want to do content creation on the side and you also want to do gaming at a high level, then this system is going to be ideal for you. When it comes to gaming performance, you can expect over 116 FPS on average when it comes to 1440p ultra settings on high demanding titles, which is almost 30 FPS more on average than the last system. So you are getting a huge improvement in terms of performance and as i said before i have tested a pc like this one myself so you can go ahead and watch that video in the top right of the screen where i test this pc in different games and you can see the exact level of performance that you are getting now the one that i have tested is a slightly worse because you get a 4070 instead of a 4070 ti so you can expect even better performance if you end up buying the one that i'm recommending in this video and in terms of price this system is going for 1830 bucks which is under two thousand dollars which is a fair price for a pc with these components and for the rest of the components you get the usual the standard for gaming 16 gigs of ram and a one terabyte ssd if you need more ram because perhaps you are professional content creator this is a very easy upgrade to make and i do recommend you upgrading to 32 gigs of ram especially if you want to do something like a streaming as well and then if you are a professional creator you can upgrade up to 64 gigs of ram if you want to which is going to be a plus if you know that you need at least 64 gigs of ram to run your favorite programs if you want to play at 4k resolution that system is going to be really nice because you can play at 4k high to ultra settings depending on the game but if you want to play at a high level at 4k then i do recommend you getting the abs case rabbi from amazon this one is $2,100 and you get the RTX 4080 Super. The 4080 Super is much better than the 4070 Ti when it comes to performance and you also get more VRAM which is going to be helpful at 4K in high demanding titles. Here you get 16 gigs of VRAM compared to the 12 gigs of VRAM that you get with the 4070 Ti. And in terms of performance, you can expect 85 plus FPS on average at 4K resolution, high to ultra settings in high demanding titles. This is a test from TechSpot that I've been using in my videos because it's very accurate so the 4080 super is about 20 fps on average faster than, than the 4070 ti that i have mentioned before and is one of the fastest graphics cards in the market right below the rtx 4090 which is much more expensive in terms of price to performance on the high-end market i think this avs system is the best one because i couldn't find any pc with the 4080 super and a good cpu not to bottleneck this graphics card in the entire market talking about the cpu you get the i7 14700 f with a liquid cooler of course and then you get 32 gigs of ddr5 memory at 6000 megahertz which is amazing and having 32 gigs of ram finally is going to be enough for not only gaming but also for productivity work content creation and streaming now if you have more money to spend and you play high cpu demanding games such as fly simulator for example or you want to play a game like fortnite low settings and you want to achieve the highest frame rate then i do recommend you getting the legacy 4 this one is going for 20 $2,800, so quite more expensive than the last one, but you get a Ryzen 9 7900X 3D, which is one of the fastest CPUs in the market when it comes to gaming. So as I said before, if you play high CPU demanding titles, this upgrade is going to make sense. But if you play high GPU demanding titles, here you get the same 4080 Super. So going with this one or the last one is not going to make that big of a difference. So you might as well save up your money if that's the case. Here you get 64 gigs of RAM instead of 32 gigs of RAM, which is not going to make a difference 
difference when it comes to gaming. It is only going to make a difference if your programs utilize more than 32 gigs of RAM, which I highly doubt it. So don't get me wrong. I think this system is amazing. And if you have the budget to buy it, and if you play high CPU demanding titles, I would buy this one. But be careful because if you don't play high CPU demanding games, then you are just spending a lot of money for something that is not going to make a difference for you. However, if you want a difference when it comes to gaming performance, then I do recommend you getting the 45L. And I think this one is the best one in the market when it comes to performance. And if you get any system that's more expensive than this one, you are going to be getting a system that's better for content creation. But for gaming, this one has the i9 13900K and the RTX 4090, which is the fastest graphics card in the market. And you can expect well over 110 plus FPS on average when it comes to 4K high to ultra settings native resolution. This is with no upscaler on, which makes it once again the fastest graphics card in the market. And not only for native resolution, but also if you want to enable ray tracing while gaming, if you're interested in that feature, the 49 is the fastest one when it comes to ray tracing performance as well. This system is going on a discount right now and it's quite expensive anyway at $3,200 but if you have the budget to buy it I think that this one is amazing and as I said before if you have more money to spend I will give you two bonus PCs but keep in mind that those are not going to make a big difference when it comes to gaming performance. If you want the fastest one in the entire market for gaming then I recommend you the Eclipse 2 which is going for $4,000 and the main difference with the 40 5L is going to be that the Eclipse 2 has the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, which is the fastest CPU in the market. So if you play high CPU demanding games, then you will be achieving higher frame rates. But at that point, you are achieving so many frame rates that you are not going to notice the difference, especially if you play at 4K resolution, which is the resolution that you are supposed to play at if you have the RTX 4090. And then the other differences are the storage and the RAM. Here you get 64 gigs of RAM and 2 terabytes of storage. So if you want the best of the best for gaming, I think you should go with this one. And then if you want the best of the best for content creation and gaming at the same time, I recommend you the Legacy 4, which is the most expensive system that's going for 4250 bucks which is a very expensive price but here you get the i9 14900k which is the main difference and that is the reason why i call this one the best content creator plus gaming pc keep in mind that the 14900k is less power efficient than the 7800x 3d and around the same when it comes to gaming or maybe slightly slower so as i said before if you are interested in gaming and if you want a more power efficient system then the last one is going to be a better option but anyway this one is amazing here you also get 60 4 gigs of RAM, 2 terabytes of Gen 4 SSD, and the RTX 4090. And if you need personal PC help, in the top link in the description, I can help you out inside of my PC community. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for your support, and I will see you on the next one.